Hey everybody, Ben with Classic Firearms here. Today is Thursday, October the 19th, and we have got some great surplus for you today. But before we get there, I would be remiss not to remind you that we still have our drawing going. One lucky winner will be winning one of these fabulous BM-59 rifles by James River Armory. Uh, this is one of our top selling rifles day in and day out. People love them, we get fantastic reviews on these rifles, and we are gonna be drawing a winner very shortly. Now, we have a block right up here in the corner of the screen that you can uh, click on and sign up, and one lucky person will win. Let me set this down, I wanna show you what we got for today. Once again today, we have for you the very hard to find, highly collectible, infield number four Mach 1 rifles. Now, up until about all oh, several months ago, for the past 10, 15 years, infields were virtually impossible to find in the country. Classic found a small cache of these rifles. We've been bringing them to you in groups. I think this is about our third offering that we've had. But folks, like everything, all good things must end. This was not an endless cache of, uh, of rifles we found. It was actually very small. And I can tell you this, we have more rifle sales on these now behind us than we have in front of us. So the time to buy one of these is quickly drawing to a close. They are highly collectible rifle, as I've said. They are surplus. They've seen action in numerous, numerous theaters of operation all over the world on different continents. And we're bringing them to you at what I think is a very fair price for some really hard to find and great quality surplus. Dylan's running the camera. Dylan, if you'll just come and scan the table here for a moment. All of the rifles are, are identical as far as quality and the way they are made, but we are offering three different manufacturers depending on what you as a collector would want. The ones that Dylan's focusing on right now are made in the United Kingdom. These are the original British made, British infields, and they're commonly referred to as the British infield, but they were made on contract by other countries. Uh, the ones here in the center are the Canadian made, made by the Canadian factory Long Branch. And I think we're gonna try to get a shot of that Long Branch marking on the side of the receiver here. Dylan, you let me know when you pick that up, we'll move on. And we'll show it one more time. Let's uh, see, I can see that one pretty good. Maybe that'll pick up good if the light's right. The Canadian Long Branch factory that also produce the infields outside of the United Kingdom. And we here in the U.S. weren't left completely out. Savage made these rifles as well. And the Savage ones will be marked with a U.S. property mark on top of the receiver. I'll show you that one. And I'll show you one more. U.S. property mark on top of the receiver. Are we good, Dylan? All right, very good. Now, folks, this is surplus. Infield rifles typically are heavily used. They have seen, as I said, combat in numerous theaters of operation. Seldom will you see what I will call a beauty queen in an infield rifle. So just know that they are what they are. They're solid functional rifles in what I would call NRA surplus good condition. They're certainly not very good or excellent but they're all very functional and they fire and they're a great piece of history. While you're buying, don't forget, we also have the 303 ammo and we have it in today's email at a great price, as well as additional mags, reproduction slings, etc. Uh, folks, if you're watching this video in conjunction with the email, we appreciate that. We have something very special at the bottom of today's email. Now, if you're not on our email blast, we're gonna show you a way to sign up in a moment. But if you're looking at this video as part of the email, go to the bottom. We have a French Moz 4956 rifle, almost impossible to find. They haven't been around in years and years. This one came to us still in the mummy wrap and we have it up for auction. The auction is starting today and all the details and the link are at the bottom of the email. Speaking of emails, if you like our emails and your videos and you want them to come directly to you, there's a button where you can click right here to sign up for those. Otherwise, we appreciate your business. God bless, and thank you for being with us at ClassicFirearms.com.